Hi, welcome to the Equipment Coach. Um, I'm here with Senior My Golf Academy Golf Coach, Jonathan Groves. Welcome, Jonathan. Hi, uh, how are you doing, Rhys? Very, very good, thank you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to be with us. No and this is a, just a little prelude video, just to um, introduce Jonathan, and actually, what I was going to ask Jonathan for you to kind of explain how your kind of your coaching philosophy, because obviously we're going to be working together, probably do a few more videos, hopefully tie in equipment with technique. But everyone has their own coaching style. I thought it might be a nice opportunity for Jonathan to talk about how he feels, you know, how he coaches and, and maybe get a little feel for that. So why don't you just go ahead and give us an idea. Okay. Um, well, I think the, the first thing um, we do with our new students is make sure that we assess the three real elements of um, what's going to affect their golf performance. So we look at the technical side of things, we look at the physical side of things, and we also look at the mental side of things. And for that, we do what we call a golf assessment. Brilliant. So that's a 45, 60 minute session, okay. it's just 10 pounds, yeah. um, but it allows the coach to sit down with each individual student and assess these three areas, also find out if they've got any injuries, find out what other sports they might have played in the past, did they excel at any of these sports, and also to ask them how they learned these sports that they've, they've excelled at. Yeah. And very rarely do you find that if someone's been good at tennis or squash or football, is that they've been told what to do with their body. Yeah. Um, usually they've learned these skills, these other sports through actually playing. Of course. Um, so we always try and gear our coaching um, towards learning, playing, and setting different tasks yeah. to try and um, encourage a change in technique. Cool, so they understand they can relate the tasks to a movement they're already familiar with, to some degree. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, so if you've got, for example, um, a lady golfer who's slicing the ball with the driver and she's a tennis player, quite often we'd give that lady a tennis racket and ask what she'd do with the racket um, if she was trying to play perhaps a forehand shot. And reminding her, reminding her of the motion required to play a forehand can quite often lead to a change in the golf technique yeah. um, without getting too much into the how to do it it's very much always asking the, the question, what do you need to do? Absolutely, and I think what you said earlier about the, the, the assessment side of things as well, that's what we do from an equipment point of view as well, it's finding out so much in advance, isn't it? So you know how to tackle it. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, well that's great, it sounds like a very uncomplicated way of doing things. Do you, I mean, I guess it's the same for me in some degree that I'm always trying to give people you know, the most confidence yeah. Uh, it sounds to me like that's a very, very good way of pe giving yeah. people confidence in going away and actually understanding how to practice what you're yeah. taught them, which yeah. is probably a big thing, isn't it? It is, and I think quite often it's not what people expect. Uh, I think quite a lot of people come for a golf lesson expecting the coach to um, run off quite a complicated list of things to do, yeah. like positions to achieve in the golf swing. And that um, quite often leads to you know, worse looking techniques, more confusion on the golf course, and ultimately higher scores. So it's quite often um, simple, uh, but that doesn't always mean easy. No, no, absolutely fine. Uh, and I think it's, um, you know, like you say, keep it uncomplicated, keep it simple, so people understand they don't get, have that frustration of, you know, not being able to apply it when they, when they leave. Yeah. That's brilliant. Um, what we'll do is uh, underneath the video, uh, we'll have Jonathan's number, so if you wanna ask Jonathan or maybe take that 10 pound assessment, um, then please feel free to give the number a call and, and look out for some more videos. So Jonathan, thanks for your time again. Thanks. See, see you soon.